hi if you are here and if you are from the last content which is the generation of the content ideas hello welcome but if you are here and you are not from the last content please watch the previous video first because this is the continuation of the last video okay if you are a social media manager that are not planning content ideas that we have generated please we social media manager we always do strategic planning and on this video, we will do the content planning, which all of the content ideas that we generated last week, we will plan it today, strategically. We don't post just to post because we want to post it. Actually, that's what our clients doing. And since they didn't see any growth doing that, why are you doing that as well? And on this video, we will do the content planning of the content ideas that we generated last week. Let's do it. Let's go. So how do we do the content planning? First, make sure that you have plenty of content ideas already and categorize it based on the content pillar. Whenever I am doing the content planning, it's very important for us to know how many content we will post in a month and how many content we will post in a week. Let's say we are only posting content, 12 contents per month. And we are planning for the month of June. So this is June 2025. And we already have content ideas, 9. Since we have 9 content ideas and we will plan 12 content in a month, we need to create more content ideas. But for the sake of this video, we need to plan these 9 content ideas on this calendar. We will start posting on June 2. What do you think would be the best content idea to post on your first month of June? I think for my end, we need to post content that everyone can relate. That's why I will post content about Travel Now Polubio Dater and plan it on our June 2 calendar there. And of course, the next date that we need to post content let's say june 4 we need another content idea that is not life realities so since this is awareness and this is not life realities i want to post this on june 4 because it's very important for you guys to know that you are not posting the same content pillar on the same week because People is easily to get bored if you are posting life realities, life realities, and another life realities in a week. That's why we need that content pillars, at least three to four or five content pillars for one account because we don't want our audience to get bored. Because whenever they bored, they will unfollow us or they will not engage to our content. So since we have the life realities, we have the travel diaries, we need place records so i will put this on june 6 since we have live realities travel diaries and place records question shara since nasa second week na tayo ng june okay ba na live realities ulit sa june 9 actually we have the many content pillars we have five content pillars and the plan pa lang natin is tatlong content pillar in a week so since meron tayong limang content pillars i would really suggest na i-plan mo muna yun silang lahat in a row para malaman natin kung ano yung content pillar ang gustong makita ng audience mo bago mo ulitin yung content pillar na na-plan mo na. Since wala tayong travel freedom, wala tayong nomad life on the first week, we need to post it on the second week para naman may makitang bago yung audience mo and para din makita natin, gusto ba tong makita ng audience or mas prefer nila tong life realities? So, why? pwede na natin ulitin yung life realities na yon para ma-check natin kung gusto pa talaga ng audience natin makita yung content pillar na yon And since we have content ideas na life realities pa and wala pa siyang date, so ilalagay na natin yan sa June 11 which is Wednesday. So, tanong ulit, Shara, every MWF lang ba tayo pwedeng mag-post? Actually, that depends on you. You can post ng Tuesday and you can post ng Thursday. So, pwede mo din yang gawin. It's just that, I only put this Monday because hindi tayo nag-post ng Saturday or Sunday. 
Or, if you want naman, you can post ng Sunday and post ka ng Tuesday. Reason why, we are planning para makita natin ano yung content ang wala tayong post ng ganitong araw para din makita natin how it works and nagbo-work well ba siya sa account natin. And there, pwede na natin din ulitin yung content pillar na travel diaries which we will plan it ng June 12. Do we have content pillar pa ba ng travel diaries? Yes. Kaya ilagay na natin to sa June 12. And next naman, place records. So since hindi pa tayo nagpo-post ng Saturday, we can actually post ng Saturday na place records. So, we will put it ng June 14. There. So, that's how we plan content. And you have to do the same thing for other content ideas. Since we only have 9 content ideas, okay, i-plan na natin tong dalawa na to. So, may travel diaries ba? Kailan yung last na travel diaries? Kailan ulit yung pwede? So, since ang last is Thursday, we can add another travel diaries ng 18. Which is, lagay natin to sa 18. And place records, kakapost lang natin ng Saturday. Pwede ulit tayo mag-post ng Friday about place records, which is June 20. There. So, kung makikita mo, may mga likdang pa or may mga dates na wala pang content ideas. So, dyan naman tayo mag-create ng content ideas na kung ano yung sa tingin mo is kulang pa. So, kailan ulit yung content mo na nomad life at travel freedom? Nung Sunday pa, pwedeng-pwede natin niyang i-post ng Monday ulit. So, it is either mag-isip ka ng content ideas about nomad life or about travel freedom. Or pwede mo naman siyang pagsamayan just like what we did here. Pero I would suggest na ibahin mo yan para malaman mo ano yung ba yung nag-work? Yung nomad life ba or travel freedom? Kasi on this, pinagsama mo na sila eh. Ngayon naman, ihiwalay mo naman siya. Pero I would suggest on this date, you should try the travel freedom kaya itong nomad life is i-delete na natin. So, Bakit? Shara, bakit travel freedom lang? Bakit hindi nomad life? Because we have nomad life na here, na hindi kasama si travel freedom. So, what we are doing now is we map out all of the content pillars on each calendar para malaman natin kung ano yung nagwo-work sa audience natin. Malay mo, nung pinost natin to si Life Realities, naka-gain siya ng 10,000 views. And ito naman, si Travel Diaries, naka-gain siya ng 1,000. Ito naman, si Place Record, naka-gain siya ng hundreds. And ito naman, si Travel Freedom and Nomad Life, naka-gain siya ng 100,000. So, di dyan, malalaman mo, ano yung gusto ng audience? Based on the views, mas gusto nila life realities at saka si nomad life or travel freedom. So, nung pinagsama mo sila, ano naman ang magiging result? So, since ito yung gusto nila, malay mo makagain ka dito ng 200,000. And here, bibigyan mo ng chance si Travel Diaries. Okay, hindi ako susuko. Travel Diaries, ipost kita kasi mababa ka lang last week. So, ngayon tingnan natin. Pati si Place Records. And that's how we need to plan out those content ideas in a content calendar strategically. And that's how we do the content planning. And that's it. That's how we plan content in more strategic way. And I hope you've learned a lot on this video. And if you haven't subscribed on this YouTube channel, please do so. And if you want to learn more about social media management, I have lots of playlists in more categorized way for you to easily learn everything about social media management. And I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye.